My name's Charlotte Edmonds and I'm a choreographer. I'm doing the work for the Delight Ignite Festival. So the whole theme of the project is myths. So my piece is called The Indifferent Beak, taken from Yeats' poem. So this is a five minute film of the story Leda and the Swan. Leda is this goddess and the swan is Zeus and he transforms himself into this beautiful swan to attract Leda. And it's almost a love story, but I've also sort of played around with both characters, you know, who's most dominant and, and sort of, you know, seeing how I can change the characters and, and maybe sort of help them evolve around each other. It's my first film I've ever done and we'll film it in Richmond Park and also in the ROH building. It's going to be displayed in the Limbury and it's also going to be projected, for instance, these films will be projected in the ROH with a display of paintings and poetry. Incorporate him and then go for this and then cross into this. If I'm choreographing something on stage, I have this blank canvas, I have this box, and it's easy to map out positions um, and structures, but with this film, you've got to think about where the camera angle is going to be, where the location is going to be, whether they'll be, you know, dancing around a tree, whether they'll be having to, you know, go around a lake. Um, and so it's been different in the way that I've had to think about the choreography and where the camera might be pointing at. Also, you know, would it be quite close up? Would it be quite far away? Um, and, and thinking more about the story and telling the story, so really focusing on their facial expressions and body language. Filming-wise, what would happen is you would probably sort of just come into the camera and then begin. So you kind of, we would see so, so your shadow and then your shoulder and then your whole body and then this bird-like figure comes. Well, the vocabulary I'm using, I've, I've gone for quite a classical base, but then again, this, you know, it's a character of a bird, so I've, I've incorporated bird-like movements, and that could be associated with a little bit of contemporary influence. My dancers are Claire Calvert and Eric Underwood, and I've never worked with these two before, and I think I've been really lucky in the fact that they have a really good chemistry, especially with this story. I think it's important to have that.